A white string loosely ties up Marcel Duchamp, interweaving itself through a gallery of paintings and sculptures leading towards a witch. Gradually overcome with black thread, the witch becomes entangled between the art and the occult, potentially uniting the two as one and the same. This is Maya Deren's unfinished surrealist short film, which is Cradle, an experimental film made in collaboration with Peggy Guggenheim's Art of This Century Gallery exhibit, and Dadaist artist Marcel Duchamp, whose own work was even featured in the gallery. By juxtaposing occultist imagery with similarities in the artwork and sculptures on display, Maya Deren finds an engrossing connection between mysticism and human creation. Considered unfinished, the film was, according to David Lewis of All Movie, assembled long after a death by staffers within the preservation department at Anthology Film Archives. While watching Witch's Cradle, the incomplete presentation becomes clear when alluring imagery of black string overtaking the witch's hand, branching into a tree-like shape, is abruptly interrupted by the hard-cut white, a placeholder for a missing sequence. These momentary cuts to white indicates areas where footage is likely missing, but in its unfinished form, the witch's cradle therefore feels like a curious enigma. Images of white string wrapping around the hands of the artist and of the witch, draped across a gallery like loose webbing, a fixation on the hands, the means in which one creates and conjures, a connection between artist and witch, as well as the affectionate attention to the sculptures presented in the film, showcases how Maya Deren's visual imagination was not sacrificed here. Even within an unfinished film, the manner in which Maya Deren juxtaposes the images of art and the artist with occultist imagery isn't coincidental, such as when the witch's white string, almost as if sentient on its own, is followed by the camera only to cut to the white lines of a painting, this sequence uniting magic with art. It's as if that Maya Deren's admiration of the art is due to artistic creation becoming a form of witchcraft, a medium in which an artist, or a witch, is able to manipulate imagery, texture, light and time. Phrasing it simply, have you ever encountered a piece of art that you considered to be magical? Additionally, Marcel Duchamp's connection to the film may hold a greater significance than simply a cameo appreciated by the art world. Marcel Duchamp's career had been a versatile one, associating with the Cubist movement, but also a major component of Dadaism, a movement that found appreciation of wonderment, satire and nonsense, almost like a form of escapism from the horrors of the world, a method in which art can become an act of playful protest. Maya Deren's short film presents a similar approach to art, to relate our adoration of art to the mystifying nature of witchcraft, as if art becomes an occultist form of escapism. When considering that Witch's Cradle was shot in 1944, a year before the end of World War II, it's difficult not to interpret Maya Deren's enthusiastic, incomplete film as an embrace of art that offers comfort in a world that, at the time, was in dire need of it. From this perspective, Darren's film, which is Cradle, and by extension, art as a whole, will continue to remain relevant, offering magical escapism, or providing damning commentary for as long as the horrors of the world are ongoing. In conclusion, Maya Darren's Witch's Cradle may be an incomplete film, but it is deserving of its recognition amongst Darren's filmography due to the unashamed adoration of art as a spiritual form. While not regarded as one of her key works, it's hard not to admire a filmmaker who was intent on declaring the necessity for art during times of uncertainty, her own artistic filmmaking gripping and bewitching like an incantation. Even amongst her minor work, Maya Deren earned her place as one of the early greats of avant-garde filmmaking. A special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil, and my super tier Patreon supporters Constantin Bombelli, Jamie and Milkway.